welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel today i am doing my much waited sephora vip um spring save what is it the spring saving events um haul um i i think i have one maybe two two more packages coming and the reason they're so split up is because things that i wanted were out of stock and then came back in stock and also I changed my mind about a couple things. Um, I also do want to preface um, this video a little bit but not too much. If you don't have the money to spend, don't spend it. Be very very frugal with what you're um, spending your money on right now. These are things I've been wanting for a while and um, things that I've actually just been excited about. So I decided to go ahead and splurge because I don't normally spend money on anything I feel like I don't buy clothes ever so skincare and makeup are usually where I spend the biggest chunk of money because those are the things that I'm really into and right now that's especially skincare and so a lot of the stuff that I got is skincare products um I do have one order of makeup coming but that one won't um be within this haul so I think I'm gonna do like a part one part two haul and so I'll haul these products today. I'm not going to mention what else I got. Um, and that'll come in the next video whenever I get those two packages. Okay, so I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited to open up these packages. So why don't we all go grab a drink? I mean, you can grab your juice, your whatever, your water. I'm going to enjoy my White Claw. Um, and let's get into it. So I'll go ahead and order or order I'm gonna go ahead and open the first one and I don't know what's in what so we'll see okay so I'm excited about this one I have not purchased anything from this brand ever everything I get is always deluxe size and so this time I was like you know what I'm gonna try this um so the first product that I picked up was the Drunk Elephant TLC Framboose Glycolic Night Serum. Um, I got this because a friend actually told me that it really helped with her dark spots. And I've got like a blemish here and just a couple spots on my face that I want to get rid of. It's a high-tech AHA BHA gel that resurfaces dill... Dill? Dull. dull congested skin by gently lifting away dead skin cells and it dramatically improves the appearance of skin tone texture and fine lines or fine lines wrinkles and pores um so mainly i got this for skin tone because i would really like to even out my skin tone i love that this is just like they call it a dream team and that's really what it must be because it's got glycolic tartaric lactic citric and salicylic acids blended in which is crazy to me i don't know too much about like all these ingredients but i have the lactic acid from the ordinary and it's helped me so much with like the texture on my forehead um it's literally all gone i have nothing um those i love the ordinary serums too actually they're so affordable and for the price oh my god like how cute is the packaging I've never ordered from this brand, so I don't know, but oh my god, it's like the inside of I don't want to throw this away now, but that's so cute. Um, I'm not going to pump any help because I don't want to waste this, and I'm not going to be using this yet because I have a few other serums I want to finish off. Um, but yeah, that was probably one of my... But yeah, that was probably one of my higher ticket items or more expensive purchases or splurge purchases um i also got the drunk elephant a passioni retinol cream um and i think this comes with something else because it was a little set for like 30 something bucks yeah so you get the little retinol cream and you get their, okay, you get their B Hydra Intensive Hydrating Serum, which I think this is like a hyaluronic acid. I'm not actually sure, but I think this is supposed to act like a hyaluronic acid. Um, so we'll try that out, but I'm trying to finish up my hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary. So I'll finish that up first and then we'll move on. I also probably won't be using this just yet because I have another, like a Gran Active, I have, what is it, the Gran Active Retinoid? 
two percent or something i don't know if that's the same thing as retinol but i'm just trying to use it up so um these two will be in the queue eventually i'm really excited about both products um and then the samples i got with this purchase so actually i guess it was kind of a benefit getting multiple orders because i got so many samples but i got the benefit give me brow what is this oh it's like a fiber gel oh that's kind of cool so it comes with like this thing i'm not going to open it right now because i think i probably have to use it up right away but it says it has a full-size custom brush that's really cool so we'll give that a shot someday because i've been wanting to try those oh also everything that i purchased is cruelty free because i'm starting to move into um cruelty free products and so i didn't purchase anything that's non cruelty free so proud of myself there was a lot of products that i originally i had wanted and i would go to google and cruelty free um kitty to look them up and unfortunately a lot of those brands weren't cruelty free which you know what it's okay, I don't need them, but I hope that taking these steps, and I hope that a lot of other people take these steps because I think it could really um, motivate brands to go cruelty-free, and that would be awesome because then we could try everything we ever want. Um, I got this treatment from Deva Curl. Deva Curl. I've never used this brand before, so I was really interested in trying this out. It's called the Melt Into Moisture Matcha Butter Conditioning Mask, so it's a hair mask. Um, I'm excited to try that one out. I love getting, like, this is a good size sample. Like, this is a two-time hair mask, probably. Probably one time, realistically, so I'll probably slather it all on. But this is what they should be like, not those teeny tiny little samples. And actually, this one's not bad either. I like that. I got that in a sample. So those are my first two. And then I'm going to open the other bag one. I do have a box as well, but... I'm going to open that one last because I feel like that one has more exciting things in it. I think this one is perfume. Okay, yeah. So I know I hauled that um, YSL perfume black opium. Yeah, I uh, hauled that a couple weeks ago. And I was saying how it's kind of a nighttime or sexy perfume. Not something that I would realistically wear during the day. I mean, honestly, where am I even going right now? But sometimes during the day, even at home, I just like to spritz a little on because why not? It's just a little pick me up. Um, so I picked up Nest Wild Poppy. Now I've never smelled this one before. And I'm not a person who buys perfume without smelling it. But the reviews on this were really good. And when I was reading about the notes, because it's like a fruity floral scent, it sounded very much like what I like. So how pretty is that box? It's so cute. Um, okay, this is my kind of scent. I haven't even like opened it yet. I can smell it right out of the box. It's so, it's like sweet, but it's like a fruity sweet. And it's not, um, oh, I love that. How pretty. Mm, I don't, okay, I really like this. This is totally up my alley. Yeah, mm, so good. Um, I'm super happy about that one. I just wanted something that was like a nice, clean scent, something light, easy for the daytime, which this totally is. Um, I love it like I'm so happy about this purchase I think this one will be one of those like signature perfumes that I'll continue to buy over and over again so um I'm really excited that I got this one and I was saying to a friend of mine actually when I bought that black opium one it kind of really sparked joy and when I picked this one up and I decided to go ahead and buy it I felt that same kind of joy again and I didn't know what it was and then I realized and I was saying to my friend that I loved having a perfume collection back in the day like I had so many and every day I would go kind of pick a perfume based on my mood but this is totally my mood for every day oh it smells so so girly so good so just like fresh like it just smells clean and fresh so I love this um super excited about that purchase that will definitely be put to use 
And like I said, it will definitely be a repurchase because this is the type of scent that I like. It's sweet, it's light, it's citrusy, and it's floral, but it's not too flowery. You know what I mean? Lastly, we have this box. So this one, I think it has like a couple, I think it's all skincare. I don't think I ordered, off the get-go, I didn't order any makeup. I think I ordered makeup only in my last purchase, and that was because I decided originally I wasn't going to get it, and then I just kept thinking about it. It kept bugging me, and I just bit the bullet, and the products I want to review for you guys too, so I'm not going to mention right now what they are, but you will find out eventually what's in this one. Oh, by the way I am so obsessed with white claw I don't know if you guys have tried these they're so good this kind of reminds me of the perfume is that weird oh ha the first thing in here it's not for me um it is the jack black beard wash with aloe and panthenol anyways this is just a beard wash for my husband because he, um, I think I got him like a gift set for Christmas and he just used up the beard wash that he was using. And this also works as a facial cleanser. So he really liked this and I'm so happy this brand is cruelty free. So that was awesome. Um, so I picked that up for him. Oh, and then I got a sh couple of sheet masks. Okay, so the first two that I got are by Pharmacy. And I got the hydrating coconut gel sheet mask and the brightening. So they just look like this. I have tons of sheet masks, but I just wanted to try something different because the ones I have, I think I just have two different kinds and I have tons of them because they came in um, these like large packages. I don't know if this is a sheet mask. It feels like one. Yeah, it is. So this one's by Saturday Skin and it's called the Cotton Cloud probiotic power mask and can I just be honest I bought this because that's literally why I bought it so pretty I could stare at this all day um but this one um I guess this one's like more of a probiotic mask so it enriches your skin I guess with probiotics I don't really know how it works but I thought I would try it out these were, I think, all $8 each, and then it had the 20% off, so it wasn't terrible. You can get them for way cheaper if you just buy the other ones. Um, next, I got this little set from Pharmacy. As you can tell, I really wanted to try out this brand. I don't know too much about it, but some of the products I've heard really good things about. So this one has two products in it. It has the Honey Potion and the Honeymoon Glow. to open this okay maybe I'm not going to open it the honey potion is a renewing antioxidant hydration mask okay so it's like one of those warming facial masks like you put it on and it kind of warms up um and it's just supposed to give you a nice glow and a smooth complexion the honeymoon glow is a serum and it's an AHA Okay, it's also, it says it's an AHA resurfacing night serum, but it's also got BHAs, um, gentle flower acids, honey, and hyaluronic acid. So that sounds kind of nice too. Um, the reviews on the Honeymoon Glow were really, really good, but I didn't want to get the full size because I didn't need to spend that much money on it. And so I saw this set. It's only 12 milliliters of product, but I felt like for... I think th $37 or something like that plus the discount. I could try out both products. I like when they do sets like this for that reason because I feel like you can really test out products that you've been wanting to try and see how they do. Um, this one was recommended by a friend and I don't know if you can see that. It's the Herbivore Prism 20% AHA and 5% BHA Exfoliating Glow Facial Mask. And I think you're only supposed to use this like one to two times a week or something because it's supposed to really exfoliate your skin. Yeah, so this has lactic acid, glycolic, malic acids. It has willow bark. Um, it just it looked so pretty. And I think this one also 
if I'm not wrong, made it to like, was it on the Allure list? I don't even know. I love how all these things come with like all these instructions now. I love this. It says for your brightest glow naturally. Um, oh, okay. Ooh, how pretty is that? It's like a pink and it's like, I think the bottle's iridescent. So, ooh, that is so cute to like put on top of your vanity. And then it comes with this little spatula. I have tons of those little spatulas because they come with everything. And then you get, I thought this was going to be bigger, but you get the smallest vial of the lapis uh, facial oil, which I've also heard really good things about. So I'll give this a shot. I don't really like these. It's like those perfume testers, but without the spritzer. So I don't really like these because I feel like when you open them, a lot of the time you get spillage. So not super duper excited about that size because it looked a lot bigger or well, it sounds a lot bigger, I should say, but I'm just excited to get the full size mask because I really wanted to try that out. I forgot to put this back in here. We'll just, I'll just tuck it in here. And then I got some samples and I think some like point perks. So I think for a point perk, this might've been a hundred points. I think is the green clean melt makeup melt away cleansing balm by pharmacy. Now, I got this before I realized it had, um, what's that ingredient? It's some ingredient, but it's like a type of plastic. It doesn't smell like anything. Um, it basically looks like the drunk elephant one. So I think I hauled that or I got that as like a deluxe sample in my last like haul video. So there's that. Um. I got a sleeping mask from some brand called Edible Beauty. I don't think I picked this one. I think it's just something I ended up with because they probably ran out of what I asked for. This brand says that they are vegan, but I don't know if it's cruelty free. So I will check. It's made in Australia. I will check and I will note in the down bar below. Okay, and then I think I already have this in like a little vial, but it's just the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Pink Juice Moisturizer, um, just in a sample. It's for oily to combo skin, which I don't have, but it's like a one-time use, so I'll probably just use it up. Um, yeah, so is that it? I think I've done my video. Wait, did I not get samples in my... I didn't get samples in the perfume one, did I? See, they always do this to me. Yeah, but I'll pick all these samples and stuff and they'll completely jip me out on samples, which is really weird. Okay guys, so that's basically it for this haul. Um, I obviously do have a part two coming up. I think that one might be a little bit more exciting, but let me know what you guys picked up during the Sephora VIB sale. If you picked up anything at all, any products that you're excited for, or if you've tried any of the ones that I purchased, because I haven't tried any of these. So I'm super excited to try them. And I just wanted new skincare. I was kind of getting tired of these skincare products that I have. So I'm really trying to use them up. And then I want to cycle in some new ones and I didn't have any to cycle in. So I thought I would go ahead and purchase some for when I run out of my current products. Um, but yeah, if you've used any of these and you've had like amazing results, please let me know because I'm so, so excited to use them and I'm excited to see what they'll do. Um, but I would love to hear if you saw any major differences in your skincare with these products and if you haven't already please go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below i would love for you to join our little family here on youtube um and if you could hit that thumbs up button and give me a like i would really appreciate it because it would help me out a lot um but yeah, that's about it, guys. I hope you're all doing well, and I hope you're staying safe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.
Okay guys, that's it for this video. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already. I would really love for you to join our little family here on YouTube and that way you'll be notified when I post any new videos. Um, I hope to have a lot coming out soon. I've got a few to edit and I have a few more that I'm filming and I'm feeling really motivated right now to film a little bit more. So I'm hoping to have a more regular schedule when it comes to filming and posting videos. So please go ahead and subscribe. And if you could, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button down below. It would really, really help me out and I would really appreciate it. Anyways, that's all that I have for today. I hope you guys are staying safe and staying healthy and staying home. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.